Now is the time, Portomaster. Hey everybody, this is Mike and Lias with SkylanderNuts.com. We're here today to take a look at another Skylanders Trap Team villain. Today we're going to be looking at one of the early villains, Broccoli Guy. Do you remember what level we caught Broccoli Guy on, buddy? I, I think it was level 2. It was level 2? I think level 3. Yeah, it was level 3. Level 3, level 2, yeah, I'm not sure, but I know we caught him pretty early on. I know it was level 3. Yeah, I think maybe it was with the Chompy Mage, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was on Chompy Mountain. All right, well, we got him in the trap, and we are actually on the fifth level now. Uh -huh. uh, what is that, Chef Zeppelin? Uh -huh. So we're on the big airship, ready, trying to track down um, Chef Pepper Jack, and this is where Broccoli Guy's quest is. Now, his quest isn't the easiest thing to get to, so we've stopped it uh, kind of in... Uh, a normal part of the level and we will show you how to get to his quest and then mm -hmm. we'll see what his quest is like alright uh -huh. alright let's get in the game buddy and let's show him where we are yeah alright so we're on the zeppelin and this is one of the paths we just got through one of the puzzles and we're gonna jump over these kebabs and now stop right here don't go the normal way turn left and go off the edge of this yep you wanna <laughs> fall down the edge here okay now stop now we gotta lock puzzle but we got blaster mine loaded up and blaster mine can blast those lock puzzles with his uh soul gem ability so you want to get rid of that lock puzzle buddy uh -huh. yeah. yep there you go and boom we don't have to worry about going in the lock so let's go in there and we should find broccoli guy's quest in here you might have to beat the bad guys i'm not sure Nope, just a quest. All right, so there it is. There's Broccoli Guy's quest. Here we go. Oh, you got the broccoli guy. <laughs> Greetings, stranger. If you're looking for good food, you've come to the wrong place. I was sent to this kitchen of shame because I burn everything I cook. Sometimes, even before turning the heat on. What's up with that? Anyway, I've got one non-burn pot left, and I need to prove to the other chefs that I can cook a great meal. That isn't on fire. I've got an awesome recipe for something, but I need Broccoli Guy to really make it sing. Send him my way, and I might just be able to redeem myself. Plus, I'll make it worth your while. Promise. All right, so there we go. Go ahead, Broccoli Guy. Broccoli guy, you are just the vegetable I, think I wanted this to see. Not to be now it's time for Bernie to get back in the game. And I added just a dash of the chef's atomic pepper sauce. Okay, maybe it was more than a dash. And I guess I've burnt another meal here. Yeesh. Time to go back to the old cutting board. But it does seem like you're a little bit stronger now. So there's that. Alright, so there you go. Quest. And we have evolved the broccoli guy. Hey, look, I won. I mean, I, I don't know what else Oh, look, he's here, turned into cauliflower good. guy. Yeah, cauliflower. He looks like a cauliflower now, doesn't he? Like, I'm up here. I'm up Alright, so he's white as he has evolved and he, because he's not jumps a Doom Raider, he only has two attacks. He jumps higher? Mm -hmm. Well, now he's evolved, his projectiles are going to do more damage and his second attack, which is actually a heal, nice. is going to um, add food. Hmm. Alright, so let's go find some enemies and we'll show off his basically is one attack and I don't think we can show off his other attack but I'll talk about it his secondary ability is not an attack but it creates a healing zone and this is mostly for co-op play um, although you might be able to use it on blaster mine uh, basically broccoli guy creates a healing zone on the ground and the Skylanders can stand in it to get healed all right buddy let's see if we got oh we got bombshell 
Bombshell and T Pepper Jack. Well, we won't have to go that far. Let's see if he can beat Broccoli Guy with his projectile attack. Oh wow. yeah. On the next set of enemies. They take the bombshell goes away. So just jump down in there and use Broccoli Guy. Use Broccoli Guy. No. I'm heading in. There you go. And now attack the left. Oh, that's major damage. I don't know. It says on um, that thing up there. It doesn't. Well, you're in a. First of all, you're in a villain strong zone, so that helps. But yeah, it, those projectiles do a pretty good amount of damage, and they seem to be. They seem to seek out their opponent. Or, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yep. It looks like he throws out about four projectiles together. This well, although it's just big work as well. So. Alright, now I'll hit the B button. Let's show him the secondary thing. Which... There you go. A little magic spell creates an area. There's a piece of food in it, and that food comes from him being evolved. And then any Skylander who stands in that area will get healed. Did, did it work for Blaster Mine? Did he get that food? Yeah, he did, so you can switch. You can get your Skylander a piece of food anytime you want and get him healed a little bit just by switching to Broccoli Guy real fast. Alright buddy, go down there and you want to take on uh, Bombshell with Broccoli Guy and see if you can do it? Alright. I think he's still strong in this song. I actually didn't, but I thought I'd relay the message. Anyway, you're doing great, and now you just need to get the key over there and use it to open that door to the crew area. There's spoons and there's forks, uh, forks and forks. Uh huh. On, oh, on that yeah. stage, and spoons and knives. And that's just. Blocking until you get through this part. Okay. Alright, get back on the broccoli guy. Hey, Brock's ready to rock. A broccoli guy has. Yeah, he's got a lot of time. His time does not seem to defeat as fast as some of the others, so now that he's evolved, it seems like he's got a fairly good amount of time. Hear that chill bill. There you go. Alright. Good job. Bombshell defeated. Yeah, good job. Alright, so there there's Broccoli Guy's attacks. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much it for Broccoli Guy. He's got one fairly decent. It, it's not very, not very powerful, but yeah. it um it does some good. It seems like it tracks the enemy, and it it's kind of like a yeah. heat-seeking missile. So that's kind of yeah. cool. Um, so you're not gonna miss your enemies much with that attack. And plus, he has that unique ability where he can heal your Skylander. So he's yeah. probably a good guy to have in the trap. Just in case your Skylander starts to uh, die, then just find a little area like this where you, you've killed some enemies. Maybe you're low on health. Maybe you're down to like 30 health or something like that. You switch over to Broccoli Guy. You lay down some food in one of those healing spell areas. Uh -huh. And then you just switch back and you heal yourself until you're ready to go again. Uh -huh. So Broccoli Guy is a pretty good uh, villain to have in that trap. Especially if you're working on some of the goals like... Uh, I think he no has switching. long times. Well, well his time is back, yeah. But, but uh, he can get you through the levels with one Skylander, maybe, you know? Uh -huh. So that's pretty cool. Um, not overly powerful, but that unique healing ability might be worthwhile to some people. Uh -huh. Alright, buddy, you got anything else to say about Broccoli Guy? Nope. Or should we call him ca Cauliflower Guy now? Yeah. 
says he's called a valor. Yeah, he looks white. All right, well, that'll be it. Until next time, this is Mike Elias with SkylanderNuts.com. Go ahead and come to the site, and you can read a written review of Broccoli Guy, and you can get his score, see how he compares to the other villains we've reviewed. And uh, until next time, we'll be back with another Skylanders character villain review. Uh, Have fun playing Skylanders. See you soon. Bye, everybody.